Oh, hi. So the festive season is here. Holi is just around the corner and I'm so excited to wear Indian clothes. But at the same time, I don't want to shop a lot, so I thought I'll use the clothes that I already have, the basic wardrobe pieces and try to style them as Indian wear. I'm trying to slow down my consumption choices and adopt a more sustainable lifestyle. So keeping that in mind, I try to use whatever I own and make it look festival appropriate. I really hope you like it. Let's get started. So starting with this pair of red pants, these pants are actually my most favorite and I'll tell you why. A. I got them stitched and B. It serves me so many purposes. So here I wore it with this black top with this giant knot on one side and in my opinion they do help me look put together. Now to make it look like an Indian wear, I tried to pair it with my mom's blouse and this is how it looked. So I discovered this beautiful red blouse in my mom's wardrobe which went amazingly well with these red pants. So I decided to wear them together and along with that I teamed up this red ruffle dupatta. So for the jewellery there were two options. The first one is this beautiful oxidized necklace that I think complements the overall look very very well. So while the look with the oxidized necklace is also great for festivals like Navratri but for a subtle look I chose this choker. It has this beautiful pearls and stones and in my personal opinion I loved it even more. So I love the overall look and that's it. So now coming on to this basic pleated skirt. This is actually a very old skirt but I'm stunned of how easy breezy and versatile it is. So yeah, I'm wearing it with this black bodycon blouse and this has actually been my go-to outfit when I don't feel like dressing up too much, yet look presentable. And this is how I used it as Indian wear. Okay, now coming on to the Indian look. To be very honest, I had no idea how to make this pleated skirt look like an Indian wear. But then I started off with this turtleneck and fortunately after that I found this dupatta which is honestly not the exact matching colour of the turtleneck but I thought it will work. So with that I draped it around like a pallu of a sari, and this is how it went. I struggled a lot and this is how it looked after that. For the jewellery, just a pair of jhumkas and that's it. Though this look is a little different from what I usually wear but I really love it. So this is a very simple plain maxi that I wear it along with the belt and honestly this is my go-to summer uniform given it's so loose it is. It's great to lounge around but I also felt that I can drape the patta around it and maybe transform it into an Indian look. Let's see how it goes. For the Indian look, I just pinned a red bandage dupatta over the dress and added a belt on top. So I tried to wear something similar like what Alia is wearing which is actually a sabbisachi dress. But this is the closest that I could get to this look. Also to make it a little garba appropriate, I switched the belt with the kamarband and that's it.
all right this is it for the video i really hope you found this video helpful and i make videos on topics like sustainability slow fashion so if these are topics that you like watching please definitely consider subscribing it would mean the world to me thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you soon in my next video bye